started piano lessons when I was five years old. Uh, everybody in the family in the house took piano lessons, but um, I was the one child that had a, really a passion for music. Playing the piano has influenced what I do vocally. So as far as improv and also um, just those tones and those, the lines and everything, it's, I try to stay in the family of the voice being a musical instrument. Some of my biggest influences were uh, Dizzy Gillespie, uh, Stevie Wonder, Earth, Wind & Fire. I grew up in the 70s, so that music kind of stuck with me. And Mark Ruffin, great producer, very good friend of mine, introduced me, Carolyn, through her song, Living in Peace. And when I heard this song, it mesmerized me. And the way she told that story, and the story itself, and there was a oh, color in her voice that totally captured me. So I was very curious to meet her and work with her. I met Mark Ruffin last year. I didn't know him. Uh, when he lived in Chicago, but uh, the, he has just added so much to this record and in, in his production role. It's one of the selections that I uh, composed on the record, music and vocals, is called Living in Peace. And um, I, I wrote this song, it came from a personal experience about uh, needing to live a peaceful life. When truth is denied and all that's aside, they beg for the right to take secrets to their grave. When living in peace is still. But I knew Amina would be right for this uh, uh, because she has an incredible imagination when it comes to music. And uh, her band is incredible. Her band is filled with guys who are all uh, first call musicians. Working with Freddie Cole has been such a special treat on this record. He is such a gentleman. and. and his sound is so classic at its ease, and his timing is just impeccable. He's, he's just a remarkable, remarkable musician and singer. We approached Freddie uh, about, about doing the record. At first he was reluctant, and I think, I think what it was, he met Carol. I feel like we have a certain kinship because he, of course, plays the piano and sings. Without really hearing it, he kind of agreed but then once we sent Amina's arrangement, Freddie was all in. But well, we thought about maybe putting a different spin on some more contemporary songs, and, and that has, has been quite an adventure, sing with these songs that we've always known. For example, Average White Band's uh, Queen of My Soul, uh, and a print song called Stroll It. We could stroll the mezzanine by some I'm a big believer in the new standard. The new standard is is a form that uh, Herbie Hancock and a singer from Chicago named Patricia Barber really popularized in the 90s. Herbie from his album called The New Standard. And what it is, uh, all the great singers, Sarah, Ella, they all grew up, they all started singing songs they grew up with. And later in jazz, modern jazz musicians didn't do that. Until again, Herbie Hancock, uh, I think, and Patricia Barber kind of gave people license. So I started looking for what I considered new standards or songs that I thought Carolyn would know or things she grew up on in the 70s or the 80s. And it worked, it clicked. And then this incredible collaboration with Mark, uh, who has such an incredible knowledge of music. And he brought on the table 
very, very diverse and interesting music written by Prince, Average White Band, uh, Gil Scott Heron, um, James Taylor, and my job was to course, make the arrangement to bring this whole together. I'm just going to have to brag on Amina for a minute. <laughs> she, she just has such creative ideas and putting together the music and it just really came so naturally and the sound is, is full and complete. It's just music to make you smile. And you can tell this moment 